Hey everyone, how's it going? Good Friday evening. Uh, thank God it's Friday, right? Um, I'm in my trailer, guys, right now, um, uh, prepping for a job to do tonight and actually busting my tail over the weekend. Um, I want to review something, um, if I could, with you guys. Uh, <clears throat> because, um, yeah, I do. I'm, I'm a big fan in... Uh, uh, lasers and I got lasers down here by Graco. I uh, them are brand new ones down there I haven't even used yet and I apologize about the way this trailer looks um, this wasn't the intent when I got this trailer um, but um, there are some things I want to review um, right in front of you um, these are Duramark Magnum Pro chalk boxes or chalk lines um, check this out um, USTape.com, or you can Google it, US Tape. Um, they are selling the same thing for about $10 more. I bought, well, not this one here. Um, uh, I got, these are uh, five pound, five pounds a piece. There's 15 pounds of blue chalk. I love blue, I love the blue chalk. Um, plus this, and I got it for just a little over, I believe $70 with free shipping. US tape um, actually added uh, I think 10 or 15 more dollars so I found this entire package right here uh, with the three uh, three five pound uh, chalk um, containers and the chalk uh, line chalk box whatever you want to call it um, for ten dollars I think it's about 10 or 15 dollars cheaper on Amazon Prime I'm an Amazon Prime member um, so there's that um, also um, this is the brand new one and uh, I've had uh, the Duramax Magnum Pro or du Duramark Magnum Pro this one here since uh, let's see 2010 and uh, it's it's beat up and it's seen better days um, there was a problem with it last week uh, the uh, spindle came off of the the rewind so I just uh, screwed a screw down in there and uh, uh, the ring came off of this a long time ago so I just put a heavy-duty washer on there it works just fine um, like I said uh, works great um, and it's been beat up though it's seen better days but it still works good um, I just like to have a secondary just in case this one would ever break in the field, but uh, also um, uh, I've bought this Keeson, I believe it Kesson Keeson, however you guys pronounce it um, It's the little giant chalk line reel um, I'm not even sure um, I think this one's a hundred foot Yeah, it's a hundred foot. I believe um, holds 12 ounces of uh, chalk um, and right next door to it I got uh, if you can see this um, that is fluorescent orange glow orange um, chalk uh, chalk dust um, I normally don't use it um, but if it's really really dark um, of an area and I do choose to snap chalk lines rather than use my laser um, I'll go ahead and use this the, you can't tell on video but the fluorescent orange the glow orange is very bright on freshly sealed parking lots um, but uh, I normally keep that on reserve in case you know something happens with this um, but uh, I am a fan of Duramark the Magnum Pro excuse me the Magnum Pro it does say US tape on it right down there um, but actually um, I was able to pick this up for like I said $15 cheaper um, and they they have different colors um, blue white red and I think yellow um, but uh, I've always since I've started this company I've always used blue uh, with the minor exceptions of the fluorescent glow orange there um, but, uh, um, 
I just wanted to review this. I am a fan of uh, Duramark. Um, you know, try them out. Uh, I'm not getting, I'm not a paid spokesman for them. Uh, this is just my professional um, commercial opinion of Duramark. Um, and, uh, you know, hey, I, I'm always up for saving a buck or two. So if I can get it for 10 or $15 cheaper, I'm going to order it from Amazon. But this just came in today, free shipping. Um, and uh, I've got it. Let me see here. It's loaded, packed and loaded, ready to go. And um, I believe, I'm not, I'm not even sure. Uh, I think these are about 200 foot, 250 foot, I think. But um, I'm a fan uh, of, of these uh, chalk boxes here. And, uh, you know, I never had a problem with them yet. Um, just for some, you know, minor things here. Um, but uh, nothing I couldn't fix in the field. But uh, I'm a fan of them. Uh, this is just my professional opinion of them. And quick little tutorial and, and uh, um, review of it. Uh, I've actually used this Kesson or K Kesson, whatever, um, a couple different times. Um, the glow orange is really bright. Um, I, just, I just keep this on reserve, but I've always used my Duramarks. Um, so there's that also um, again this trailer's a, a mess but also um, that came in is my Dixon Railroad Chalk yellow um, I'm a big fan of Dixon um, always had uh, uh, you know good things with them so uh, so I bought I bought a case of that uh, Dixon Railroad Chalk and then I just stocked my shelf um, where it's easy access to get to. Um, this trailer's a mess. I've been striping my butt off. Um, and here's my auto lock right here, if you guys can see it. Um, this uh, actually is a system to hold down and maintain your striper in the trailer without it moving or shifting or tipping over. Um, I haven't even had time to get this uh, bad boy mounted yet. Um, so, um, and this trailer needs swept out really bad. Uh, I'm just been really, really swamped and busy right now. <coughs> um, I was trying to think of anything else here. Um, let's see. Um, I got... Uh, all of my wording uh, stencils up on the top spare tires for the uh, line driver I'm gonna put spare tires in here for the striper. I got my bead hopper still up in here and I utilize the um, Hope you guys can see this. I utilize the uh, rafters um, I have a do not enter uh, 12 inch letters stencil up there and it's, I don't know, probably 10 foot long, give or take. Maybe maybe 8 foot long, I guess. So I just propped it up there with some uh, Sherwin-Williams uh, heavy-duty 5-gallon uh, paint sticks. Um, and then uh, my stencils, of course, um, are behind here, my stencil caddy. Um, this uh, cardboard piece is actually a Graco uh, cardboard. I just cut some out for uh, uh, light pole base uh, template. Um, and uh, I also uh, put my spray gun on there. Um, as you can tell, I uh, shoot a couple lines on there for practice before I start. Um, also, um, for see if I can get this over here um, for those of you that um, are starting out striping which um, I applaud you and commend you for starting your you know your new business um, uh, keep it up don't let the competitor screw with you um, make some templates uh, there's gonna be this is a four inch uh, four inch wide template 
um, that um, just in case uh, there's a spot, tight spot where my striper can't get into, um, I have, I don't have any wood in here right now, but uh, these are <clears throat> pretty much like uh, brads or uh, mending plates is what they're te technically called. Um, there's a side view of it. And what you do is you just uh, put them on your template, hammer them, beat them down with a hammer, and you got an instant template. So there's that. Um, I got these at Menards for like $4.50, a box, something like that. Um, but I, you know, I've came into, uh, you know, I've been in situations where I couldn't get my striper in and I didn't have templates and I didn't want to have to tape anything but i had tape with me and so i taped up lines that takes time off um if you got like three or four maybe five parking lots to do in a night so uh templates are a must um carry some wood carry some of these brads or, or mending plates with you um and uh it's you know very simple uh, very simple operation there um Carry extra parts with you. Um, if you're a new striper, extra parts are a must. Uh, um, a nightmare that I've went through when I first started out is breaking down in a parking lot at three o'clock in the morning. Um, that is something you do not want to encounter because you do not want to call your customer the next day and say, hey, I broke down. Uh, nobody wants to hear it. They just want to know why their parking lot wasn't completed. Um, extra parts. I do have rollers in here for my um, ADA blue block handicaps. Normally, I just use my, uh, it's my Graco handheld sprayer down there. But, uh, it, you know, I just, you know, uh, just got them on hand. Uh, actually, I got a, I got a case of them right here. Um, extra striping tips. Uh, you never know when a striping tip will go bad on you. I think you could probably shoot, if I can remember, maybe close to about 5,000 gallons. Close to it, I guess, on one tip. I could be wrong on that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, so, um, spare parts, pieces, um, you know, uh, extra things that you need. Um, you know, I got my acetone down there. My latex is down here um, at the very bottom. Um, batteries, um, extra lasers, extra stencils, uh, um, uh, tips, and spray tips and stuff like that. Um, these things are, are notorious for um, giving you problems in the middle of the night. Um, let's see. Lubricants. Um your uh, TSL, your throat sealing liquid. Um, th this is stuff that you you must have with you at all times. Um, things like, uh, you know, your, this is a new, new packaging kit that comes with a new striper. I just had an extra one. Um, so yeah, yeah, I mean, if you're starting out, great. I applaud you, I commend you. Um, work your tail off, do good work. Um, and then you know the fly by the night companies that you're out there competing against they'll no more likely tend to get mad at you um and then they'll tr try to cause you trouble like i have in my previous videos for one don't let them do that don't let those crazy fools do anything to you like that um you're out there to make money and there's enough parking lots in this world that we can all work for the next 20 years and not touch each other and step each other's foot on our on our feet so uh uh, you know, if you're dealing with a competitor, uh, you know, best thing to do is just, you know, don't give them information, don't share information, do not give them your pricing. Um, you know, then that way, you know, it, you know, that's competition. Let them figure it out. Let them uh, deal with it. Uh, so, so there's this guys right here. This is some of my setup, and I'm I'm actually embarrassed of the way it looks. Um, uh, housekeeping is a must for me it's a priority um, but uh, so um, yeah I mean 
if you guys have any questions comments or anything just let me know um, I'm here to answer them the best I can um, so uh, I'm actually going to uh, get off here and finish getting this cleaned up before it starts raining again so uh, guys I thank you for watching I appreciate it again this is my review of the Duramark chalk and the Keeson chalk um, if you guys have any questions comments anything you want to know that I know I will be more than happy to pass them down to you free of charge. <laughs> I'm not going to charge anybody for advice, especially somebody that's wanting to bust their ass and um, pay their bills um, an honest and hard way to work. So, um, guys, I thank you for watching. Take care. God bless. Um, stay safe out there. And don't take any crap from any competitors. Um, I've dealt with them my whole life uh, since I've started this company. And uh, just don't take any crap. Uh, my other uh, real quick advice is if you have the extra money, I would I would get some free legal advice from an attorney. See how much he his retainer is, he or she. And I would definitely get an attorney um, on standby in the event that you have to deal with your competitors and either dragged in the court to shut up or um, protect your own assets and your family. So, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. This is uh, Asphalt 911 Incorporated. Guys, take care. Thanks for watching.